Hey, 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 friend, how are you doing? How has your week been since we last hung out? Let me know. Slide in my DMs at Kristen and James on Instagram. And let me know how you're doing. Let me know how your year has been going so far. We're a couple weeks now into 2024. Fill me in. Fill me in. I'm always curious to know what's going on with you. So today I want to talk about personal growth a little bit more because as much as this is all about your side hustle. Like I said, when I reveal the new podcast name, Side Hustle Growth, this is as much about your growing your business as it is you as a person. It's professional as well as personal growth. There is a lot. There's a tremendous amount of you that goes into the success of your business and the success of being an entrepreneur. An entrepreneur is still a noun. So it's still about you. It's still about learning about you. There's so many lessons you learn in every step of the journey. So let's talk about what can really inspire personal growth, especially if you are just starting your journey. If you are still kind of in the grassroots, the really early stages of planning your side hustle, deciding if you want to start a side hustle, or, you know, you've only been a couple months in, whatever it is, or maybe you're a seasoned entrepreneur. Maybe you have been running a side hustle successfully. There's still room for personal growth. The women that I typically deal with, they realize as soon as we start working together that a lot of mindset and self-discovery and self-awareness really goes into what they want to do in and for their businesses. So let's talk about 12 questions to inspire personal growth as a new entrepreneur or seasoned entrepreneur. We, you, that's up to interpretation. Let's have an honest conversation about it, okay? So I want you to consider these questions. I came up with 12. I could have narrowed it down more, but you know, I always give you like five or seven. So let's go with let's go with 12 questions. The first question I really want you to think about is what fuels your entrepreneurial fire? You're uncovering your passion for your, your dream and to, to start and to run and to grow this side hustle. What, where is that fuel coming from? What ignites that spark in you that you now want to turn into going from employee to entrepreneur to starting your own business, being an aspiring entrepreneur? What fuels your entrepreneurial fire. And you know, of course, as I ask these questions, have your journal ready or your planner or something where you can write things down. Like you're really reflecting and you want to write these questions down and really think deeper about them. If you want to discuss them a little bit more, by all means, you can reach out to me. I'm here to give you tons of feedback, always here to give you tons of feedback. So the next thing to ask yourself is why do you believe in yourself? Like, remember that powerful moment when you believed in yourself and it's time to magnify that belief. Why do you believe that you can do this? Why do you believe that this is for you? Why now? Why this thing? Why this side hustle? Why is it so important to you that you have your own thing, that you're in control of your time, that you can say yay or nay to certain things? You can walk away from your nine to five. Why, where does this belief come from? And why do you believe in yourself? And number three, this is a really important one because this is where people fall off or fall behind is how can you follow through no matter what that resiliency, what's your driving force that will keep you moving forward? The follow through, the decision is great. Writing a couple things down. Awesome. Coming up with an idea, coming up with a product, a service, an offer, whatever it is. But how can you ensure that you follow through no matter what? Let's channel that energy to increase your growth. Okay? And that's number three. We're only at three out of 12. I'm trying to go as slowly as possible. If you're listening and you're writing some notes or you want to pause. If you want to pause, I can get, guess I can just keep going, right? <laughs> the power of, of, of modern technology. So number four. Why did you take this brave first step? Like, recall that exhilarating feeling when you took that first action. And so you can maintain that momentum. What was your first action? 
Your first action could have been a decision. Your first action could have been creating the social media page, page or your your first post or you know generating that first lead or showing up networking or speaking somewhere. What was that brave first step? Why did you take it so we can maintain that momentum? Now, here's another important one. It really, really kind of helps to spark personal growth is when does doubt creep in? When? Because it's going gonna, it's gonna to come up. It's going to come up. It's going to try to keep you company, try to be all up in your ish. No matter how you feel like you've got control of everything, everything is going the way it, you envisioned, the way you planned, the way you hoped. Some, that seed of doubt somewhere will always creep up. So when does doubt creep in? Identify if there are trigger points when doubt begins to, sleep, to, to creep in so you can tackle those head on? Are there certain things or people that will make you doubt yourself? Are there certain stories or beliefs that you have about yourself? Some kind of condition in your employee mindset that you have to break in order to gain momentum and, and to keep going, to stay motivated. Okay. And then to the follow up from number five into number six, from when does doubt creep in now into when does doubt turn into fear? Because fear can hold you back. It really, really can. The doubt will be there. Nah, 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 nah. Should I? I don't know. If nah. But that fear can be so debilitating. So let's transform it. Use fear, doubt as a catalyst. Be like when you start to feel, I've, I've mentioned this before. I talk about this all the time. Because you're going to doubt. You're going to fear. Things are going to come up. But when you start to get that feeling of like, oh. I don't know if I should do this. I don't know if now's the right time. I don't know if I can afford this. I don't know if I'm, people are going to believe me. I don't know. I don't know if people are going to buy from me. I'm going to, people are going to support me. Use that as a catalyst so you can transform it to motivation for your progress. Don't let it slow you down. Don't let it stop you. Don't let it get in your way. It is now a catalyst when that doubt turns into fear. Do not let the fear take control. Okay. Okay, are you listening to me? Okay, let's keep going. <laughs> Number seven. So how many attempts have you made? How many attempts have you made? It's not about false starts. As long as you start, as long as you're doing, as long as you're trying, as long as you're pushing past the fear and you're not stuck in, oh, oh I can't do that. Or, oh, no one will. You're actually doing it. It doesn't matter how many attempts. As long as it's starting. Those aren't false starts. Those are starts. Okay. You got things to figure out. You got a lot of personal growth to do, which is what today's episode is all about anyway. So think about it. How many attempts have you made? Let's celebrate those brave attempts of trying, failing possibly, or learning, if you will, and still trying again. You are building that resiliency as an entrepreneur and that should be celebrated because it's all a part of the journey to success. Everything's not going to work out. Some things you might be all ready to go and something else comes up. Maybe you actually really do have to put things on hold. Maybe you're not actually procrastinating. Maybe it's just the circumstances beyond your control. Something come, Life is always going to life. Something will always come up. So be sure when you start and you're doing, celebrating that, celebrate those brave attempts. And number eight, nurture your ideas. So the question is, what ideas bring you to life? And let's amplify the best ones, your creativity. This is you. This is your thing. You are starting this. You, you want to follow through. You are attempting. You're taking that brave first action. Nurture that creativity. Amplify the, the best ideas. Identify that some of them can be shiny objects. It might sound like, ooh, I can do this right now. Ooh, maybe this. And you don't want to, you don't follow one thing through until you move on to the next thing. So it also is very important to identify the shiny objects, but amplify the ideas that you can bring to life that fit into your side hustle, fit into your personal growth. You growing as a person, you growing as an entrepreneur. Okay. And the number nine, 
time. Your most valuable asset. Time is some serious currency. Your most valuable asset. Managing time is key. How can you best manage your time realistically? I will always stress that. How can you realistically set those goals and manage your time with everything else going in your life? Let's strategize that for maximum efficiency. Maximum efficiency. Efficiency is not just about getting a whole bunch of stuff done and feeling accomplished because look at me and my to-do list. I got all this stuff to do to be an entrepreneur. How can you properly, realistically manage your time efficiently, see one goal through, identify the shiny objects, see something through, break your goals down quarterly, monthly, weekly, daily, whatever it is to really strategize for maximum efficiency. And number 10, embracing help when you need it. Who can you ask for help? Who can really support you, especially when you don't feel supported? Especially when you no one can see the vision that you have for your life and your business. Who can you ask for help? Because asking for help is strength. It's not a weakness. Create a supportive network. There are the people that are ready, willing, and able to support you. But sometimes, most times, all the time, you have to ask. People cannot read your mind. They can't read your mind. They don't ex know exactly where you are right now in your journey, how you're feeling about certain things. It might look like you have it all together. And I'm speaking from experience. <laughs> it might look like you have it all together. But until you ask, hey, can you can you share this thing? Or can you tell, do you know anyone else that needs so-and-so? Do you, do you mind just popping on? Or do you mind just sending? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Every single time I have asked, I have made the ask. I did an entire podcast episode on that. Making the ask and not the assumption. Stop assuming that people don't want to help you, that people don't have the capacity. A lot of times, they just don't know. People don't know what they don't know. It's as simple as that. So you got to ask. Be brave. You're already brave. You're already taking the first action. You're already committed to changing your, your conditioning, shifting your mindset, Owning this space, taking up space. You don't have everything. You don't have all the tools. You ask for help. Embrace that help when you need it. Who can you ask for help? And number 11, almost done already? What? Number 11 is reflecting on the why. Reflecting on the why. Why did you start this? Rediscover that initial spark that ignited this journey, reflecting on why. Why is this important to me? Why am I going to ask for that help? Who am I going to reach out to? What? Asking all of those questions, reflecting on the why. You hear people talk about it. Here's my reason. This is my why. What is your why? Keep that at the forefront. Rediscover that initial spark. Let it be your driving force because when the doubt creeps in and you're ready to 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 use it as a catalyst and you say this is why I'm doing this this is why I have to push past this fear this is why fear can't be in control if you're afraid do it afraid do it afraid do it anyway and amaze yourself and number 12 how badly how badly how badly do you crave this ask yourself how badly do I crave this? How much do I want this? How important is this to me? How would this change my life for the better? Ooh, that's a good question to ask. How will this change my life for the better? Determination leads to achievement. How badly do you want to see your side hustle flourish? Like, how badly? How important is this to you? Remember, a shift in your mindset is the catalyst for growth. When you grow, your business grows. 
it is all about you as much as it is about the business because there's a person behind that business. There's you behind that business. And before anything, when people want to talk about the business, they're talking about you. So you got to work on yourself as much as you're planning for that business. Those are 12 questions to, to really spark and inspire personal growth as a new entrepreneur. You're just getting started in your journey. Oh my God, that is so exciting. And if you are just in the early stages of trying to figure everything out, you are overwhelmed, you don't feel supported, you're dealing with fear of judgment, lack of support, lack of resources, ah, you can reach out to me, your girl, CJ. Let's chat. Let's start off with just talking a vibe check. Come, let's vibe for 15 minutes and tell me more. Tell me more about why this is important to you. Let's really get to know one another and let's see how I can support you on this journey to kickstart that side hustle. 2024 is the year. All right, let's do it. It's a conversation. That is also another step in you really taking control, making that decision for yourself that you are going to do this. You're going to do this the right way. You need the support. You need to ask for help. I'm going to reach out to CJ. I'm going to do that vibe check with CJ. 15 minutes, no problem. I'm going to do that with CJ. I'm here. The link is right there, ready for you to click away and book away so we can chat away and vibe away. If you slide in my DMs on Instagram, you can still also let me know there. You can say, CJ, I'm all ready for that side hustle growth in 2024. I'm looking forward to hearing from you, my friend. I appreciate you being here with me again this week for vibing with me already this week on this episode. Thank you. I look forward to hearing what you think about these 12 questions. Let me know what else comes up for you as you work on your personal growth. I'm always very, very curious. So share that feedback with me. I appreciate you and I will talk to you very, very soon. I'll talk to you next week. I'll talk to you next week. We got another guest coming. Oh, oh my God, you're going to love it. Okay, I'll talk to you next week. Bye. 